Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs and welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. This bout that we have upcoming is going to be taking place on August 4th with Dimitri Bivol battling Isaac Chalemba. Chalemba is a pretty tough guy and we'll kind of get into that. Uh, Bivol is 27, Chalemba is 31, Bivol is 6'1", Chalemba is 6'2", um, both weigh 125 pounds. 72 reach for Bivol, 73 beach for Chalemba. Bivol has 13 fights, no losses, a lot like Dimitri Bivol. Was moved fairly quickly, has won a belt, has defeated the likes of Sullivan Barrera, um, as well as um, other fighters, and we'll get into his career as well. Chalemba, record of 25, and 25 uh, wins, five, five losses. He lost to Sergey Kovalev. Um, and others. Uh, had a draw with Tony Ballou, but also lost to Tony Ballou. So let's just get right to this. Uh, I'm going to slow this down right here because I can see that it's fast. Scheduled for 12 rounds, 3 minute rounds, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory account, 3 knockdown rule waived. And yeah, let's get right to it. Dimitri Bivol on the left side of the screen, Isaac Chalemba on the right. Bivol comes out. And it's funny, when I did the bout here, when Bivol fought Sullivan Barrera, um, you know, it, it was one of those situations where um, Bivol just started slow. Solomon Barrera took the initiative and uh, beat him, actually, which but didn't, that did not really happen in real life. Of Dimitri Bivol, you know, really boxed well against Solomon Barrera. It was, a, it was somewhat of a contested fight. Oh, wow. And you have Dimitri Bivol getting Isaac Chalemba against the ropes already, hitting him with a left hand. Um, and then, and then, you know, I don't want to give too much, too much, too much away. But basically, the Dimitri Bivol and the Sullivan Bar Barrera simulation that I ran, he did not show up. So I found that to be very, very interesting. All right. So they're now, so they're now jabbing, and Dimitri Bivol coming out, and you know, he wants to make a statement, pushing Chalemba into the ropes. The fact that you know. Dmitry Bivol probably wants to fight Sergey Kovalev. He probably wants to fight a lot of, you know, he, uh, Sergey Kovalev and, um, oh, oh God, maybe Arter Better Viev. And, and there's a lot of other guys out there. He wants to make a statement against Isaac Chalemba. And Chalemba is one of those guys, a good, you know, good, good boxer, just doesn't have a lot of power. Probably isn't going to be able to keep Bivol off of him too much. Although, you know, if he lands right, if he can be awkward, if he can use angles. But so far, he's not. And, and Dmitry Bivol is just. Handing him his head, punching him, getting him up against the ropes. And so Bivol, you know, almost, I think, kind of figuring out early on, he's going to be able to do pretty much anything he wants with Isaac Chalamba. Landing that left hand almost at, almost at will. So um, this, this being a, uh, a uh, really interesting, um, you know, bout to start, you know, we're seeing Dimitri Bivol really come into his own. You know, he was always fighting guys with bigger records than his. Now with a record of 13-0 with 11 knockouts, he wants to come in and he wants to make statements. And especially that would send a message to Sergey Kovalev. Hey, you went 12 rounds with Isaac Chalemba. I, um, I knocked him out. At least that's what Bivol's hoping to do. Um, and looking at, um, looking at Chalemba's... Record even more, seeing if I can see, you know, some of the uh, names. You know, he's uh, seems to have fought a lot in South Africa, which is where I believe he uh, is from. Um, you know, a lot of good fighters come out of there, and I mean, the draw with Tony Ballou is good. I mean, Tony Ballou knocked out David David Hay twice, mind you. David Hay is not the David Hay that we remember, but hey, you know, it's still a good victory, and uh, yeah. So we're in the final few moments of this, the first round. Dimitri Bivol um, making a statement against Isaac Chalemba, keeping him up against the ropes. Both fighters are breathing heavy. 10-8, uh, someone's giving it to Dimitri Bivol to 10-8. Uh, one judge giving it 10-9, another judge giving it 10-8. So let's just move on right now. I'm going to take a look right here at Dimitri Bivol's record. I'm talking about some of the guys, and the thing is, interestingly enough, um, I actually had the pleasure of calling a bunch of Dimitri Bivol's early bouts on Periscope, and it was the kind of thing that he just showed up, he was at these, um, I, I worked for a company called Fight Club OC, and Bivol showed up, and he was in these fights, and he was, 
you know, had like, you know, a few fights to his ledger. And he was fighting these guys with really good records. And he was an assassin. He was beating them. And uh, right then, I mean, you know, it wasn't hard to tell. I'm not some genius. It wasn't like I scouted him and saw it. But it was pretty apparent early on. Dimitri Bivol was extremely legit. Um, so, yeah, he's beaten Sullivan Barrera, Trent Broadher, Cedric Agnew. Uh, the fights that I, that I um, called in which he fought were um, when he fought, I want to say he fought Clayton Concecal, I did that one, and um, Felipe Romero, I did, I did, I did that one as well. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the Jackson Jr. fight, yeah, it doesn't say where that, where that one was, but yeah, so yeah, I know, he, you know, his record and he's landing hard against Isaac Chalamba. He's making a statement. That left hand is is really telling the tale for him. And the, the Bivol just beating him up and and fighting a really good fight, really good defense, not getting hit with shots from Isaac Chalamba. And the reality of it is, is based on Chalamba's knockout percentage, it's not like those shots would really hurt him. But you do, you know, as a as a fighter like Doug Dewitt said when he fought Sabu Kalambe, he's like, I didn't think the guy could crack an egg. Kalambe hit him right. And Doug DeWitt was knocked out. So, you know, we are we are just moving along here. We have a, uh, well, once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. On the left side of the screen is Dimitri Bivol. On the right is Isaac Chalumba. Please find me on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan. Please like, comment, and subscribe to these, uh, to these podcasts that I am doing. Please share the links with your friends. I want to get the users up. We've, we've done over 100 of these. There's a vast library amassing where you can do this. I try to do one or two of these a week. I'd like to do more, but sometimes, you know, this, the, the uh, situation does not present itself. And um, Bivol, Bivol landing, Bivol, Bivol landing. Oh, you know, he landed the left. He's landing the right. And he's hitting Chalimba flush. Chalembo seems to have a fairly good, good chin. Bivol, um, you know, getting tagged a little bit here as we come in through the second round and, and just, you know, busting up Isaac Chalemba. Ten nine, ten nine, for all three fight for 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 those rounds. So now Dimitri Bivol, he is up. By um, eight points, Isaac Chalemba um, is 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 down, um, and, and Dimitri Bivol just just finding ways to land, just landing a beautiful uppercut on him, and it's the kind of thing. Those are the kind of things that we're going to be looking for. This bout's going to be happening at the Hard Rock Casino in Atlantic City on August fourth. These are good bouts, probably be on HBO. A good way for Dimitri Bivol to get more exposure. People, people can see him. I, I look at him sort of as the lightweight Vasil Lomachenko. If I'm being honest, I think he beat Sergey Kovalev now. I think, I mean, Andre Ward, if Andre Ward were to come back, I don't know, I think it's a tall order now. But, hey, Andre Ward's a great fighter and, you know, had, you know pulled it out against against uh, Sergey Kovalev and then stopped Sergey Kovalev. So, there's a uh, there's there's a lot to think about, and don't get me wrong. I think I love the Crusher. I think the Crusher is great. I just think that that Dimitri Bivol is just he's uh, he's just a cut above, and it's the kind of thing. I mean, I don't know if I'll go to heavyweight. Who knows? He might rule the light heavyweight and the cruiserweight divisions for many years to come. So Dimitri Bivol landing well on Isaac Chalemba. Chalemba landing with a with a uh, left hand, and Dimitri Bivol showing the high guard coming in with that left hand again, just sinking it into the face of Isaac Chalemba. What Bivol really wants to do is land is landing combination. That is probably the best chance he's going to have to knock out. Although Isaac Chalemba has only been knocked out once, he has been dropped before. He was dropped by Sergey Kovalev in the seventh round of their bout. So we're in the final minute of this of this of this round.
and these two guys are, you know, you know, Kovalev, they're all taking his time, probably looking for things. You know, he does have a tough, durable guy in front of him, which is who Isaac Chalemba is. The question is, can he make that, you know, work for him continuously? Oh, landing the left hand. In the final 20, 20 seconds, and you know, I, I, I give Bivol a lot of credit. Landing poleaxing punches, landing hard punches, and it's the, you know, these are, it's, uh, you know, but but look, you have Telema coming on in the final few minutes, but takes a right hand for his trouble. Oh, Tegan takes another one. And I'm curious to see, I'm curious to see, they're saying that Telema's very tired, Bivol's breathing heavy. So, wow, one judge giving it 10 10. So, Telema kind of making. Another judge, two other judges giving it 10, 10, 9. So Dimitri move all up by 10 points after three rounds. We're almost a third through the bout. We are a quarter through it. Oh, and him landing on him. Oh, landing uh, body shots to him. Uh, body shots and Bivol is trying to, you know, really wants to break him, break him down right, 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 right now. He, uh, you know, he, you know, Chalimba is a durable guy. He's a hanger on in the sense that he can hang on. Uh, Bivol landing a hard right, right hand to the head of Isaac Chalimba. Now he's mixing up the left hand and the right hand, showing really good defense. And, and I don't know, maybe he heard that one of the judges had it 10, 10, 10. I give Chalimba even credit for doing that. That's a, that's a victory in and of itself, considering the, the uh, massive fighter that he has in front of him in Dimitri Bivol. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please ring the bell, turn on your notifications. Please share these links. Like I said, I want to make this the place for simulated content. Watch, like we say at Boxing Time TV, why wait? Watch it now and then watch the real thing um, later. Uh, and so he's he's just continuing to do it. He's landing the uh, straight, straight punches. Landing the, uh, oh, just pushing Chalimba into the ropes. And... Bivol, Bivol, oh, he wobbles him. He wobbles him with a shot, with a shot to the body. And Bivol getting out of the way of his shot, showing really good defense, too. There's high defense, making it very hard for Isaac Chalimba to really do much of uh, anything in there. As Dimitri Bivol taking over this bout. Came out and wanted to make a statement, and he has made a statement. Oh, landing the left. Oh, oh, he wobbles him with a shot to the body. Dimitri Bivol going to the body. Breaking him down with shots upstairs. Really showing a completeness in this fight. Kind of like when Vasil Lomachenko fought Nicholas Walters. Just showing such a completeness. I mean, you got to wonder how much more Isaac Chalemba really wants of, really wants to take of this. All right, let's see what the judges say. Chalemba's very tired. Dimitri Bivol's breathing heavy. Ch Dimitri Bivol back to 10-8. 10-8 on two of the judges' cards. 10-8 on the other judges' cards. He's now up by 16 points. We're going into the fifth round here. Dimitri Bivol versus Isaac Chalemba. Oh, taking the, uh, you know, taking a taking taking a shot. You know, uh, Isaac Chalemba, give him credit. He's he's. he's He's landing, he's finding a way to land his punches. He has not been totally, totally, um, you know, uh, discouraged by what Dimitri Bivol is putting out. Oh, Bivol landing a hard right hand. Bivol just tapping him. Coming in, coming in close, not really 
not really getting getting you know you know Rod not really taking too much too many punches and Bivol you know Bivol finding a way. That's one thing you got to give Bivol credit for. He finds a way, and him landing that right hand. Going to the body, going to the body on um, Dimitri Bivol, and showing a high defense and uh, landing the right hand. Oh, and going and continuing to go to the body. Oh, landing the left hand. Oh, landing the left. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this, 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 this fight, I mean, Isaac Chal Chalemba still has spunk, still trying to land some shots. But Dimitri Bivol is just on, in another class right now. And the way that he's fighting, he's, he's you know, he's, his punch output's still pretty good. You know, he's slowing down a little bit, it looks like, possibly, but maybe it's just more he feels his confidence in what he feels he's been able to do, the way he's been able to neutralize Isaac Chalemba, although Chalemba being cute, landing some shots, we're in the final 30 seconds of the fifth round. Oh, 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 and Bivol lands a hard right hand and wobbles him, and, and, and that's the thing. Isaac Salamba taking 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 some hard shots from Dimitri from the Dimitri Bivol and Bivol kind of wants to maybe pour it on now, feeling that he can stop and Bivol going to the body. So that was uh, that was a big end of that round. Salamba has a bruised rib. One only has to imagine what's going to happen. Bivol continues to go to it. Uh, Isaac Chalemba, D D Dimitri Bivol winning that round 10-9, 10-8, and 10-9. Just continuing just to maximize his lead over Isaac Chalemba. Chalemba kind of going to the body now, but Chalemba has a bruised rib. And it's, it, it remains to be seen, you know, can he fight like that? Is that, is that possible? So just landing those jabs, getting him into the ropes. We got Dimitri Bivol just pulling himself out of the range, many counters, and just punching Isaac Chalemba into the ropes. Dimitri Bivol looking to go to the body, continuing to go to the body, looking to touch him, probably knows that he's that he that he's hurt him there. And the question is, is how much of this oh and Chalemba's wobble now. Chalemba's wobble. The question is, can Bivol follow up? Chalemba has the ability. George Foreman talked about it when he fought Ever Big for Martin. This, this ability to recover from punches, that in itself is, you know, because there's some fighters that get hit and it takes them a few rounds to recover. But in this case, it's even, you know, more impressive because Telemba's just taking these shots, he's wobbling, and he's trying to fire back. Oh, so landing the right, landing the right hand is uh, Dimitri Bivol. So yeah, they're just they're just you know jabbing and figuring out a way to do it. You know what I find interesting is that Bivol doesn't have a nickname yet, at least not one that I saw on box on box rack. Isaac Chalimba is the Golden Boy. It's not the most original name. But now, and now you have Dimitri Bivol. I wonder some a little bit if he's looking too much for one for one shot that's gonna help him. Oh, but he's he's starting to land now. He's going to the body, put Isaac Chalamba back up against the ropes, and um, landing landing the way that he's landing. Uh, continues to go to the body, mixing it up.
Oh yeah, so you know, uh, you know, very good round once again for Dimitri Bivol. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. Please find me on on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan. And a nice left hand. I missed all that, but Isaac Chalemba landed. Still showing spunk. Please like, comment, and subscribe to these podcasts. Please uh, ring the bell. Pull, you know, turn on your notifications and share these links. We have over 100 fights. Kind of a nice little library of content that we're building up. And we just want you to continue uh, to share and support. So, Dimitri Bivol, we're through the halfway point. Dimitri Bivol, 10-8, 10-8. And going to be 10-8 again. And he's just, he's so far ahead of Isaac Chalamba. Chalamba needs a knockout. He needs a knockout or a bunch of knockdowns in every round in order to win this thing now. Chalamba right now just taking kind of a pounding and just sort of settling in. You know, figuring out a way to maybe survive. He does have five losses, only been knocked out once, so he does know how to do that. Landing a right hand. Goes to the body on Isaac Chalamba. Sorry, I'm a bit tired as I do this. It's night time and I've been out all day. I've been getting up early, but I wanted to do a podcast. I like getting them done at the beginning of the weekend and I can just figure out more than I can do. And like I said, I, I, I got uh, Mikey Garcia versus Robert Easter. And then I got uh, Carl Frampton versus a gentleman named Jackson. I, I, I don't remember his name. And, you know, others as they come up. Oh, Bivol, Bivol hitting, hitting Chalimba hard. Oh, Bivol wobbling him there, but the thing about Bivol is he's wobbling him, but he's not following up in a way that is gonna that seems to be knocking Chalimba down. I mean, he's 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 winning. He's he's certainly ahead. He's certainly doing damage to him. But it's almost like Bivol maybe sort of wonders if if if, if Chalimba's just gonna hang on and let Bivol get gas. So Bivol's not pushing himself out, not putting himself out there the way that he probably should. Oh, wobbles him with the left hand. Continues to hit him. Continues to well, at least look like he was. Oh, man, I give Chalemba. His recuperative powers is amazing. You would think he'd have a broken rib by now or something, but, you know, the way this computer does that, it doesn't, even when they get a broken rib, they sort of just let it go on. Chalemba's a tough guy. Wobbled now. Oh, man, and you have Sullivan Barrett. Oh, you have Bivol just landing on him. But letting the but letting those moments kind of go away, which is surprising because the bivol in real life does not do that. Oh, goes to the body again. Let's see what the judges say. After this, the seventh round, we got five more rounds to go, and I'm with you guys. I think this is. I mean, they should just stop it. He's got a broken rib. Bivol's winning these rounds 10-8. Now he's winning them 10-10-7, 10-10-7. One judge gave it 10-9. I'm just, I, I, I think the, a call for a stoppage would not be a bad call now. I mean, you know, he's just, Salemba's not really doing much in there. He's just kind of surviving and taking a beating. It's, it's pretty apparent that Dimitri Bivol is the better man tonight, just in terms of, just in terms of, you know, just, you know, ability and everything else. So now Chalamba trying to go to the body is, you know, um, and now, you know, they're all just landing on him, landing on him, punching him up against the ropes, and and this is going to be the kind of thing that, that uh, you know, a, a, a pretty, you know, a, I would say the only thing, there's a crispness to this performance that's lacking, but, but aside from that, you know, I, I got to give it to 
to D Dmitry Bivol. He came in against a tough guy, a durable guy, and has pretty much blown him out. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. You are watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friend. Remember to turn on notifications, ring the bell, just let people know. And we have Dmitry Bivol on the left side of the screen, Isaac Chalemba on the right. And Dmitry Bivol putting on a clinic versus Isaac Chalemba. Really uh, landing in such a way and fighting in such a way that it is, uh, that is, um, you know, oh, now he has him wobble, or at least he did, but man, Chalemba can take a punch. Give him credit. I mean, that's what I'm saying. With a chin like that, he's going to take a lot of punishment. He maybe does not need to take. And right now, Dimitri Bivol is just landing on him in such a way that why let it go on? He's not really doing anything. He keeps punching him to the body. He backs up. And I mean, I, maybe it's because I'm just tired, but I don't see any reason to let this continue, personally. Oh, and punches him into the ropes with that left hand. That left hand is like a heat sinking missile, and so is the right. Dimitri Rival just really landing hard on him. Letting, letting go now of the punches. Oh, lands with a left hand. Oh, comes up with an uppercut. Oh, Rival landing hard on him. Rival landing hard. You would think, you would think, man, this is uh, eighth round. Rival locking it up. We got, we got four more to go 9, 10, 11, 12. Chalimba has a broken rib. Um, I'm going to say they're going to stop it in this round. I think they will. 10-8 for Bivol. 10-7 for Bivol. And 10, another 10-8. Bivol's up by 40 points. Just beating the tar out of Isaac Chalimba. You know, usually I say, you know, at some point in the fight, one of the fighters takes over. Dimitri Bivol, to my estimation, took over from the first few moments of the first round. Came out. Got Chalumbo against the ropes, pounded on him, and pretty much kept him there. Oh, and he now has him wobble. Drinking some uh, water. You know, and that's the one thing. When Vival knocked out Sullivan Barrera, it was pretty brutal. But it was a, but you know, he broke him down, and that's how he did it. With Isaac Chalemba, it's similar, similar to that. Although I think Barrera was a bit more, um, uh, what's the one I'm looking for? A bit more competitive. Oh, I'm going to the body now. Oh man, Dimitri Bivol, continuing to crank it up, landing the combinations, touching him to the body, lands that right hand, and you know, the thing is, is that he's landed, and you'll see Chalemba's body shake, but he somehow survives. Gotta give him a lot of credit for that. Oh, wobbles him, throws a left hand and an uppercut, oh man, hits him with another uppercut, I mean, come on. Come on, computer boxing game. Spare us all four more rounds, three more rounds of this. Just stop it right now. Come on. Come on. I mean, if I could, I would, but I can't. Gotta let this go. Gotta let this go. But, I mean, there's just no reason for it. Oh, lands a right. Lands another right hand. And... I mean, you just have to wonder, you just have to wonder why they will not stop it, why they have not stopped it, and, oh, he wobbles in with a body shot, you know, 
Oh, and then the left hand now by Isaac Chalimba. You know, he lands one and oh, just brutal. It's brutal happening now. And that'll take us into the 10th, the championship round, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. I guess a moral victory for Isaac Chalimba. She's getting the tar beaten out of him 10 7, 10 7, 10 7. I mean, I'm not, I mean, this, this should just be over. Should just be over. Chalimba's up by. 49 points. Oh, and oh, and he wobbles in with a left hand to start to start the round. I thought they would have stopped it in the ninth, but uh, Dimitri Bivol coming out. Chalimba really just a punching bag now, you know. And and you would think, oh, landing with you know just just everything's landing. Like you wonder why the corner for um, for. Uh, Chalimba's letting it continue. Oh, man, Chalimba's got a chin on him. What kind of chin that's going to get him in trouble. Oh, they stopped the fight. Chalimba's in pain. So I thought they were going to stop her in the ninth. They stopped her in the tenth. Dimitri Bivol scoring a tenth round TKO over Isaac Chalimba. Not the most entertaining fight, but a good workmanlike victory. And Chalimba showing, you know, hey, a lot of grit and, you know, a lot of determination. Dimitri Bivol is a winner by TKO. The fight lasted 10 rounds. Bivol was not knocked down. Chalimba was knocked down, was not knocked down, but has a broken rib. And, hey, it's a moral victory for Dimitri Bivol. Sergey Kovalev couldn't stop him. Dimitri Bivol did. Thank you so much for watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please turn on your notifications. Please share these links. And like we always say on Boxing Time TV, why wait? Watch it now. But then on August 4th, when Bivol Chalimba airs, watch The Real Thing on HBO and compare these podcasts. Thank you very much.